Hello everyone, welcome to reach RCNA class. During this course, we will talk about some basic network technology. I am Nick Sha, and I am your instructor for this training. Okay, the first course, we will talk about IP address. If you are the first time to learn network technology, don't be afraid, because I will introduce you one rookie engineer, Tom. Tom will complete with you to learn all of these technologies. Okay, first, our graduate, Tom, joined the Rigi company. He had only little knowledge about networks, and today, his supervisor, Michael, led him to finish one task. The task is as follows. In this topology, we can find that we have two colleagues, Jack and Bob. They both come from technical team. And now, Mike hope Tom to help them to make a Jack can use FTP function to Bob's server and then Jack can download files from Bob. Okay, so first, Tom thinks we should configure the IP address at the beginning. Okay, so we need to talk about what is the IP address. In this course, we will talk about IPv4 address. One IPv4 address, it has four bytes, like this one. We can call it x.x.x.x, uh, .x .x .x. and uh, one byte, it has eight bits. Because it, it is binary format, so we can only use zero or one. For example, we can write IP address as 1.1.1.1. But in fact, it equals 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 dot, uh, the 1 dot, 1 dot, 1. And uh, the range of the IP address is from 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. It's this one. And then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. It equals 255. So we can find that the Octave range from 0 to 255. And this is an example 192.168.1.2. For this IP address, we can know that it consists of network bits and host bits. For example, the network bits. For this IP address, we can use the 192.168.1.0. Be careful. The last bit, normally we write 0. And uh, the real last bit, 2, means the host bits. And the network bits combine host bits can be one complete IP address, like this one. And for IP address, there are five classes, class A, B, C, D, and E. Class A, it has this format. The first octet of class A should be from the first byte. It ranges from 0, 1, 2, 127. Be careful, 0 is reserved. Okay, so class A, it follows this format, O, X, 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 X means it can be 0 or 1. So, of course, the range can be from the 0 and uh, all of them are 0, but the last bit is 1, it will equals 1. And uh, the first bit 0, but the others, are both of them are 1. It will equals one nine one two seven. So the range of class A will be the one two one two seven. 
and the last three bytes will be the host bits. Okay, so this is the class A. But class B, it has this format. It from the the first the highest two bits will be one zero, and the others can be any values. So the range will be from the one zero, and all of them are zero will be one hundred and twenty eight. One zero with all of them are one will be one hundred and ninety one. So class B will has this format one hundred and the 28 to 191. Then the second byte also belong to network bits. And then the others are host bits. This is class B. Now it has we have an example 172.16.3.2. Next time you see this IP address, you should know this is a class B IP address. Then class C. It has this format. One one zero will be the highest three bits, and the range is from one hundred and ninety two to two hundred and twenty three, and the three bit bytes will be the network bits. Then class D will has this format. One 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 zero for the highest bits and the range is from 224 to 239 but be careful class D is a special IP address we call it multicast when you learn our NP course we will talk about more about this and at last is class E but class E are reserved okay now we already learned the IPv4 address format, and we find that it is not very convenient to describe a IP address. So some people think that could we use a subnet mask to describe how many bits are the network bits and how many bits are host bits. Okay, for example, this one, Ten one one two. Then subnet mask is two hundred and fifty five dot zero dot zero dot zero. So this format it means the ten will be the network bits because the subnet mask two five five means all of them are one 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 one. It means this is the network bits, but the others. Uh, zero zero zero. So it means one dot one dot two will be the host bits. So this is a complete IP address. And uh, maybe you can say that two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero is also too long. Yes. In fact, we also have another one to describe this IP address, we can write it as slash 20 or slash 8. Okay. Okay, then this one, 192.168.10.1. Then the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0. So in this IP address, we can know that the subnet mask should be 24 because these three bytes means the network bits. Okay, so in a word, 192.168.10.0 with slash 24. This one indicates this network segment and then dot two five five. The last IP address means the broadcast IP address. Please remember, during one IP address, the first IP address 10.0 should be the network ID, and the last bit 255 should be the broadcast IP address. So the available IP address it range from 
10.1 to 10.254. At last, I also want to introduce you one special IP address, 127.0.0.1. We call it a local lowback IP address. So maybe you have tried to ping it before. And you can find the results, it succeed. Uh, so when I ping this IP address, it means I try to ping this device itself. Normally, it used to check the physical network card for us. If it failed, there will be some errors. Okay. Besides the special IP address, you should also remember during the network, we have public and private address. You need to apply to your ISP for the public IP address. But if you just want to use the IP address for your inside network, you can choose the private IP address. We have three kinds of private IP address, the class A, class B, and the class C. Class A is from 10.000 to 10.255.255.255. Class B, it runs from 172.16.0.0 to 172.31.255.255. And class C, it runs from 192.168.0.0 to 192.168.0.0. So this three kind of private IP address can be used in different kind of network. If you have a big network, you can choose class A. And a medium network, you can choose class B. And a small network, you can choose class C. But maybe you will ask, how can I judge this is a small or medium network? Don't worry. I can give you a notice. <clears throat> Normally, if you use a class A IP address, for example, you use the first eight bits for the network ID. And uh, so, of course, the 24 bits will be the host bits. So, 2 to the power 24, it has so many IP address for host. And a class B address, it has so many IP address for the host. Then class C, it has about 200. IP address for the host. So next time you can calculate how many IP address you need. Then you can choose which kind of the IP address. Okay, now let us have a summary. Today we learn IPv4 address. After learning it, Tom decided to configure the IP address. Use, he want to use 192.168.1.10/24 for the IP address for Jack. So now let's do it. We can open the Ethernet and choose the IPv4 version. Then use the following IP address 192.168.1.10. Then we can use the slash 24. It will be the 255, 255.255.0 for the IP address. After Tom finishes this task, then Tom try to use FTP Bob IP address, but he failed. So why? 
Tom checked the topo network topology and find in this topology we also have a, a switch. And he think maybe the problem is about the switch. So how do PCs communicate with each other? And what are the functions of a layer 2 switch? For this part, we will talk about it in our later course. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. See you next time.